I wrote it while sitting on a washing machine because I had <laughs> <laughs> It's a long story, but I used to live in what I'm convinced is the cheapest flat in all of London. Um, but the only catch was that downstairs was like a really strange Irishman. It's not, nothing with the Irish. Um, my husband's half Irish. He was just very old. And, uh, and he also came with a cat called Norman, who was corpulent and ridden with fleas. And, um, and a previous tenant had said to me, have you met Martin yet? And I was like, yeah, yeah, he was there. And she goes, lock your door at night. <laughs> she goes, well, when I lived there, one night I heard this, and she's called Emma. Emma, I love you. <laughs> but I never heard that. He never, he, he, he never proposed love to me or anything like that. He would just call his family at really strange hours in the morning and bake cabbages at three in the morning. Um, but next door was like this really noise sensitive man who for some reason thought it was okay to play Abba at four in the morning. <laughs> but this is always a good time for him, that's true. I don't know why I'm telling you this story. I'm trying to tell you the circumstances in which I wrote this song. I was telling this story at Nunnington Hall um, last weekend about how how I wrote it about someone that I had terrible, unrequited love for. Um, and, um, and long story, it, it, I, I'm hugely grateful that it was never consummated because I saw him in a restaurant not that long ago looking really rough. <laughs> <laughs> result, I married a man who still got his hair. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Another I one. Sad song. But um, I, I I like playing this song because I um I like I, well, I it's interesting to go back in time and remember how you feel when you when you hear certain songs songs you haven't heard for a long time or and this takes me right back um and um and I and I wish I'd uh, known that we were all going to be okay already. <laughs> 